Bowser may be known as an evil kidnapping tyrant who constantly causes chaos in the Mushroom Kingdom, but if you ask King Koopa himself, one of the main titles he would give himself is a father. Bowser definitely has children, but some mix-ups in the Mario canon make it a little confusing as to exactly how many. Let's deep dive into the subject to get a clear answer. Before you watch, click subscribe. You'll join our notification squad and be the first to know of new content. Bowser's Extended Family Before we can figure out who Bowser's children are, we need to look at the family around him. Bowser's parents are rarely mentioned in the Mario franchise. A throwaway line indicated Bowser's father was on the run and a version of his mother was featured in an animated episode of the Super Mario Show. The absentee parents are never mentioned again, but we did get a good glimpse at Bowser's childhood through the game Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. Ugh, just hearing the title makes me hear baby Mario's yelling. <laughs> In the game, we are introduced to Comic. The Magic Koopa had the challenging task of raising a stubborn and evil Bowser from birth. Their bond remains strong, and Comic is often considered the magical father who raised him. With such an unconventional childhood, you can only imagine how Bowser views family life as he grows older. This is a huge factor in the way he raises and treats his children. Introduction to the Koopalings The whole Bowser family tree was changed, well, actually uprooted, torn down, and probably set on fire with the release of Super Mario 3 in 1988. No longer did Bowser rely on useless Goombas to do his dirty work. We were introduced to not just one, but seven of Bowser's children. Yep, while Birdo was taking over the villain duties in Super Mario 2, Bowser was busy bringing seven kids into the world. While gamers from the 1980s would probably prefer to refer to the clan as the Bowser Bunch, they were officially known as the Koopalings. The seven children served as bosses in the first seven worlds of Super Mario 3. They each had a similar look to Bowser, but fought with their own quirky attributes. Each child carried a magical wand, likely given to them by Grandpa Comic. Out of the seven, six are boys. Larry, Morton, Iggy, Roy, Lemmy, and Ludwig. The lone girl is known as Wendy O. Koopa, and she loves to boss her brothers around. While they all appear the same age, they are actually different ages, although it's a little unclear what they actually are. The only true twins among them are Iggy and Lemmy. Not only are they twins, but the youngest of the Koopalings. After the success of Super Mario Bros. 3, the Koopalings returned for multiple games, including Super Mario World. So now, not only was Mario destroying Bowser in game after game, but he was picking off his children one by one along the way. The SNES upgrade continued their journey as Bowser's children, but would their loving family last long? I'm sure you're thinking what I'm thinking, but don't get too far ahead. We'll get to that in an entry or two. An animated family. At the same time as the Super Mario Bros. 3 release, the animation company Deke created their own cartoon based on the game. In the adventures of Super Mario Mario 3, we would get an even bigger glimpse at Bowser's fatherhood and the way he treated all seven children. Going from the cartoon to the games may be a little confusing because there are numerous differences within the content of the show. One of the main differences is the names the Koopalings are given. The animation for the show began before the game's final development, forcing animators to create names of their own. The Koopalings are often referred to as the Koopa Kids, further proving the fact that they're Bowser's actual children. Even though the characters are the same, the new names were Hop, Cootie Pie, Hip, Bully, Big Mouth, Cheatsy, and Kooky. I guess the video game creators were a little more creative in their name department. If you don't know their origins, you should go check it out. Their names are some pretty cool Easter eggs. The episodes dove deep into Bowser's relationship with these children. He was bossy, but often spoiled them and helped hatch evil plans to take down the Mushroom Kingdom, Mario, and all his friends. All of the characters also returned for another animated series, simply titled Super Mario World. They kept their on-air names despite the Super Mario World game sticking to the original namesakes. Watching these episodes, there's no denying Bowser's role as their father. They refer to him as dad, several references are made to parenting, and it's pretty crazy to imagine, but Bowser was raising seven children at one time, all while managing his princess kidnapping ring. If it wasn't so evil, I'd say it was admirable. Rewriting History After the release of Super Mario World, the Koopalings were largely written off in Mario games. They made no appearances on the Nintendo 64 and Nintendo GameCube. Bowser moved on without a mention of his children, and it seemed like Nintendo did a clean sweep of the Koopaling story. Just when it seemed like the Koopalings would be locked away in Bowser's castle forever, they staged an epic comeback for the Wii. For the release of New Super Mario Bros. Wii, the Koopalings all made a surprise return, acting as the world bosses like they once did in Super Mario 3. Only 
only this time, things were a little different. Not only did they get some nice 3D upgrades and character designs, but it appears they all turned into orphans. Bowser no longer referred to them as his children, and the Koopa was dropped from all their names. Mario creator Shigeru Miyamoto even confirmed this in a 2012 statement directly confirming that they are not his children. For longtime Mario fans, this was a huge change. Just like the magical wand they all carried, poof, their whole history was eliminated from the timeline. Everything we knew was a lie, and now the Koopalings were merely Bowser's minions, forced to take care of themselves on their own. It's this big change in history that confuses so many fans. Older generations grew up to know the Koopalings as his children, while younger fans are probably just as confused. And I'm sure even now, we'd all take them in any form over the Brutals. Bowser's Nicknames As if breaking down Bowser's family history isn't hard enough, you can start tossing a variety of fatherly nicknames in the mix. Bowser has no shortage of nicknames in the Mario franchise and has been referred to over a dozen different things. While he's simply known as Bowser now, he also originally went by names like King Koopa, King of the Koopas, Koopa King, or just plain Koopa. His royal name would shift from Lord Bowser to King Bowser depending on the game you were playing. When you look back and follow the journey of the Koopalings, there were a number of different names there referred to him as. Wendy O consistently refers to Bowser as Daddykins. Other Koopalings have used nicknames like King Dad, Pops, and Papa. See how this gets confusing? Despite all this, the history rewrite has stuck and the Koopalings are not officially his children. This leads us to the conclusion, Bowser has one child. What? Who? Throw his name up on screen, editor. Bowser Jr. In 2002, Bowser's whole family history was thrown for a loop with the release of Super Mario Sunshine on the GameCube. At first, the game makes you think you're fighting a character named Shadow Mario. About halfway through, it's revealed to be Bowser Jr., the only child Bowser has. The namesake of Bowser is just as evil as his father, kidnapping Princess Peach and causing all types of havoc for Mario. To take things even further, Bowser Jr. not only decides to kidnap Peach, but he creates pollution over an entire island. Papa must have been proud. Super Mario Sunshine was just the beginning for Bowser Jr. He joined his non-siblings in New Super Mario Bros. Wii and has gone on to appear in dozens of games. Bowser Jr. is typically teaming up with his father, although the two have clashed on multiple occasions. Their fights are typically competitive battles and games like Mario Strikers Charged and Mario Party Island Tour. He has remained loyal to his father, follows his plans, and is like a miniature version of Bowser. The arrival of Bowser Jr. all but confirmed the story fate of the Koopalings, but it also started a number of new rumors, including who Bowser Jr.'s mother actually is. The answer is just as complicated as figuring out how many children Bowser actually has. Peach and Bowser for years, Bowser has kidnapped Peach, kept her trapped, and destroyed portions of the Mushroom Kingdom. Despite all this, Bowser has actual feelings for Peach. He just expresses them in the completely wrong way. Maybe this is the result of being raised by an evil wizard after your parents have abandoned you. Anyway, Super Mario Sunshine not only revealed Bowser Jr., but it threw in an interesting plot twist. Bowser Jr. kidnapped Peach because he claimed she was his mother. How Peach ever believed this is a whole other topic, but the revelation completely changed people's views of the whole Bowser and Peach relationship. It added layers to their relationship and hints at Peach's willingness to be with Bowser a lot more. Players dealing with the shocking Jerry Springer style news were forced to wait through a few more hours of gameplay before the truth was revealed. Bowser lied to Junior about who his mother was. The clever Bowser Junior actually knew all along, but kidnapped Peach anyway. <laughs> Must be in his blood or something. Even after the truth was revealed, Bowser Junior continued to taunt Peach. He has called her mama in multiple games and followed in Daddy's footsteps by participating in kidnapping plots against the princess. The truth about Bowser Jr.'s real mother remains a mystery, although the whole wedding plot in Super Mario Odyssey would be completely different if Bowser and Peach had birthed the child together. Don't, uh, don't Google that, okay? Honor system. Baby Bowser While Bowser Jr. is officially Bowser's child, he's not to be confused with Baby Bowser. Baby Bowser is not another love child of Bowser, but is actually Bowser. And the whole family tree is now officially a jumbled mix of vines and prickers. Baby Bowser is the young version of Bowser and officially made his debut in Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. Along with Baby Bowser, the game also featured Baby Mario. The baby form of Bowser is the nemesis to Yoshi and appears in a number of the Yoshi-oriented games. What makes the character character confusing is the fact that Baby Bowser teams up with the adult version of Bowser in Yoshi's Island DS. The time travel plot puts the two mega villains together, but they are not father and son. 
Thankfully, the truth about Baby Bowser is not as confusing because he remains pretty isolated within the Yoshi series. It's just easy for fans to mix him up with Bowser Jr., especially when it comes to merchandising, character designs, and toys. Koopa Kid Okay, let's break this down. So, there's the Koopalings, not his children. He probably used a quick flame ball to burn the birth certificates. Bowser Jr., his only child, and Baby Bowser, the young version of Bowser. Whew, well, that seems to cover all of it. Wait a second. Who the heck is Koopa Kid? If you've played a majority of the Mario Party games, then you would be used to seeing the character known as Koopa Kid. Not to be confused with Bowser Jr., Koopa Kid looks like a six-year-old version of Bowser. Appearing in Mario Party 4, the description of the character alludes to multiple Koopa Kids and Mario Party 5 features all types of Koopa Kid color designs. This proves that there are actually more than one Koopa Kid in the Mario universe. These characters are also not officially Bowser's children even though he does call one son in Mario Party 7. They are merely fake young versions of Bowser, seemingly created just to add characters in the Mario Party franchise. After the introduction of Bowser Jr., the Koopa Kids were left in a Mario Party wasteland and never seen again. Even in the recent release of Mario Party Top 100, Koopa Kids character design was replaced with Bowser Jr. As Nintendo cleans up their history, we'll have to wait and see if Bowser has any more children. It would be interesting to revisit these storylines in the future. We can imagine playing a game where the Koopalings gather all the other characters to turn on Bowser and figure out their true family history. Well, there you have it. Who is your favorite Mario villain? Should the Koopalings be considered as actual children? Is there anything we missed? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to the gamer so you can stay up to date with our awesome videos. Thanks for watching. <laughs>